Hey guys, Camille here, Thrustmasters console driver and I am showing you some tips and advices how to be quicker on hangar ring in ACC with Thrustmaster Direct Drive Ferrari SF1000 simulator. Hangar ring is a demanding, twisty and technical racetrack with a mix of slow and fast turns, bumpy sections and tight lines. Trial braking is required here lots of time but very crucial thing is to use all the track limits throughout most of the corners. We are using Ferrari 296 GT3 here. Stable and well-balanced car with a setup consisting high rear wing, big brake and softer suspension. Great choice for this track. Let's begin the lap on Hangar Ring. On the main straight, stick to the left and seek the 100 meter board as a braking reference for the first corner. Brake very hard with straight wheels and start rotating the car while approaching the corner. Stick to the inside curb but without attacking it too much and go back on the throttle as soon as possible to maximize the exit. As a reference here, start braking just a bit after the curb on the right appears. It's all about trial braking and sticking to the inside. Watch out for the bumps, use the camber of the corner and don't attack the curb on the inside, keeping the line tight and narrow. Position yourself a bit to the left to make sure you can take this corner fully flat. Use all the track and prepare for a difficult blind corner. As soon as the curb appears, slam the brake and quickly rotate the car just a bit, downshift to third and take as much of the inside and exit curb as possible to maximize both entry and exit speed. From about the middle of the track, trial brake and hug the inside, keeping in mind the track here is also really bumpy. Go back on the throttle very early, but watch out for the traction to not slide with the rear too much. Very, very tricky chicane ahead where you can gain or lose a lot of time. Try to be brave and find a perfect line of cutting as much as possible on both sections without unsettling the car too much. Be wary of track limits. Simple quick left, use a lot of inside curb and position yourself immediately to the left. Slow in, fast out. Shift your car weight mainly with the throttle and gently braking this. Use absolute every inch of the track possible on this and the next corners. Full throttle here and have in mind the next corner, so be ready on the left side, tap the brake, downshift and rotate the car super smoothly for this corner. You can either use all the curb on the inside or just a bit of it because it is very slippery, but use all the track limits on the exit. It's heavy braking here, use the curb on the left as a reference. Second gear, turn sharply, attack the curb and early on the gas while using all the track available. Now it's time for a difficult corner with late apex, trial brake smoothly while turning the car and downshift to first gear. Go back on the throttle early but gently. And it's final corner ahead, brake smoothly without applying a lot of pressure. Coast a little bit and let the car roll into a corner and go back on the throttle focusing on exit speed and keeping the traction high and using all the curve on the exit. And here I present you my most preferred settings for T818 Direct Drive and in-game Assetto Corsa Competizione settings. My favorite game mode is Sport, which still gives lots of information about the road and all the bumps, but isn't as raw and sharp as the performance and extreme mode. And that's it for today. I really hope you can apply some of these tips on your driving and improve your lap time. And we can do a little challenge. If you manage to beat 143.5, you can post a screenshot of your time.